Hello YouTube, Raul here. We're back with a Redux Toolkit introduction series. In this video, we're going to look at how you can create asynchronous actions and how you can handle side effects inside your slices. We're back with the previous project, the personal library one that we built throughout this whole series. If you missed it, link to the whole playlist will be in the description below. Additionally to that, I have added a new button here in the header that says get user data. It's added right here and also added some styling so that it is located here at the top left corner. Inside this dispatch from the onclick handler, we'll dispatch uh, our newly created asynchronous action that will fetch us some random data from the random user API. We just have to make a fetch request to this API and we'll get a random user with data about it. Okay, let's get started. So here in the auth slice, we're gonna import create async, async thunk from the Redux toolkit. Then to the initial state, we have to make some changes. So we're gonna add a loading state that's gonna be set to false at the beginning we'll add an error state that's gonna be set to null and the user state which is gonna be an empty object and we're gonna put the user details inside of this this uh, state okay now let's create the ASIC actions so we're gonna create a new constant we're actually going to export it because we'll have to call it from the header and it's going to be called fetch random user and we're going to create call create asic thunk now this function requires two parameters the first one the first one is going to be the name of the dispatched action so we're going to do it similarly to the create slice one and we're going to call it off slash fetch random user and the second one is going to be an asynchronous function that's called a payload creator so inside of this payload creator we're gonna do a try catch and inside the catch we're gonna get the error so inside the try we will dispatch we will fetch our uh, data from the api we'll make the fetch request and inside the catch we'll handle any errors that are that might appear so let's get the response is gonna be await fetch and we're gonna get this random user api great now the data is gonna be await fetch await actually next the data is gonna be we're gonna do await and response dot json okay and now we, from this we are going to return the data and inside of this we're gonna have a results array and we're gonna get the first item from that array now in the error side we will just throw a new error with the error that we get from the catch now create a sick thunk will actually create three different actions so one of them is gonna be called pending and it it is it will be dispatched when we press the button when this this promise resolves right here and the data is returned we will dispatch an action called fulfilled and if we throw an error then a rejected action will be dispatched so let's go to the create slice and handle those actions in order to handle actions defined in other places in our app, we're gonna use the extra reducers key from the create slice. If you missed the previous video and want an introduction to how to handle actions defined in different parts of your 
application such as different slices or with create action or with this create asic func. I'll leave the link in the description below so that you can check it out first before this video. Okay, here we're gonna have to get the actions. So one of them is gonna be called pending and we're gonna get the state and action here and inside of it we can uh, just change the state so we're gonna set the loading to true and also let's just set the error to null just so we make sure the there is no error then the next one is gonna be fetch random user fulfilled so we're again going to get the state and the action and here we're gonna set the user to be equal to action dot payload so our user data will be in the return from this try catch and we'll, we can access it in the payload for our for our fulfilled action and also let's set the loading state to false the last one we need to handle is called fetch random user rejected and here we're also gonna get the state and the action and we're gonna set the state error to be action error and so this time it's gonna be in the error key not in the payload key for that action and in this error message is gone uh, this error is gonna have a message on it okay and let's also set the loading state to false again so we set it to true when the it when it is pending and to false either if it's fulfilled or rejected great so now we created our actions we handled them in the reducers now let's dispatch that action from the header and see how that works so let's get the fetch random user action and we go to the on click handler for the button and we just dispatch the fetch random user and let's go to the app and see okay i missed something let's see what i am missing right here oh they are supposed to be all arrow functions my mistake right here Okay, now if I save and refresh, everything's all right. So we attach the dispatch to the button. If I dispatch, I get a pending action at the start, which, which sets the state from fall, the loading state from false to true. And then after the fetch request is completed, we dispatch the fulfilled action and get the user data. Now let's see what happens if we, let's say, write this URL badly. So I'll just add a, another letter or number, refresh the app and dispatch the action again. And now you can see we threw an error and the rejected action was ditch, dispatched. And we also get a message here in the state. We can check it out better. It says unexpected token in JSON at position zero. Great, so this way using create asic tongue, you can handle side effects, you can make fetch requests, you can also post data to your API, anything that, uh, that you want in related to asic actions. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. The rest of the playlist will be in the description below in case you wanna check out more. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for when I release new videos, like this one so I know to make more like this and leave a comment, I'd love to chat about it in, in the comments. Also if you want to hang out with me on Twitter, link will be in the description below. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.